Good evening from Chitna, Alaska. It's Wednesday, June 15th, and we are going fishing again. Uh, it was a pretty warm day here. I think it was getting close to 80, which by our standards is very warm. So we didn't go out fishing earlier because we're waiting for this shade right here as the sun sets behind us to get to our rig so we can leave the dogs in there and they don't get too hot. We're ready to take off and see what we can find in terms of fish tonight. Uh, we are going to stop in the little, we found out about another part of the village up here. Yeah, after like our three visits here, we never knew this whole other part of town existed. It's yeah. like our mind is blown, so we gotta go check it out. And supposedly there's a laundry mat and showers up there, and it's like, what? How the heck did we not find out about this place? It's crazy that we've been here so yeah. many times and not knowing. So let's go check it out. Really excited to see what's there. I gotta tell you, I they really built the village up the street thing up, and I was expecting a Whole Foods. <laughs> Not really. Uh, we did find a laundromat, so if we really have to stay here longer, we can go do a load of laundry. Although we're really hoping to limit out tonight and go home tomorrow. Uh, we did stop and grab a bite to eat, just because in all of the hubbub to get ready to come out here, we realized we didn't make any dinner. Oops. So, we have now found a place. Um, we found Eddie. We did. We found Eddie. And it's in an area where a couple of guys limited out. Was that today or last night? Pardon? Those guys, did they limit out today or last night? Uh, they didn't limit out, but they got 108 fish for two people. Okay, well... That would more than limit out what we're allowed to get for two people, so. Anyway, it was in this area, and so we're gonna give it a try tonight. Um, just as a point of reference. It is 8.45, the sun has gone behind the mountains, but it is still very much light out. And I'm gonna show you the view we have. Over here, you can see this is where we have found a little eddy. We're gonna give it a try and uh, see what happens. So here we go. So the last spot we were at on Monday was so brutal with the sharp shale that our net was just getting hung up on the rocks and uh, breaking all the time. So our fix for that in Alaska, no surprise, zip ties. So you don't want any holes in your net so I'm just going to go around and fix everything so we can hopefully catch some fish here. I opted to put on the life vest because we're going into an unknown area and I don't know if you get stuck in the mud and need it. Don't know, but let's go see how this uh, net hangs in this eddy. This spot is pretty nice. Um, obviously, if we catch fish here, it will turn from very nice to great, but there is water moving through the net. So you can see the flow of the river is that way, and this eddy is creating a back uh, upwards flow of current, and it's not as wicked strong as the uh, place we were at on Monday. So the last place we were like holding on to dear life to keep this net vertical. Here, it's just nice and casual. The view isn't too bad, is it? This is my contribution while Ben is doing the first run with the net out there. It's looking pretty good. I gotta go get some more firewood so we can keep it going. Evidently tonight it's my turn. I've caught two fish. The other night Ben caught two fish. We're up to four. Woo! It's not happening too well, but at least we got a little something to take home. 
Well, things have kind of turned around here on the Copper River for us. First of all, you might notice, well, you won't notice, but we notice <laughs> it's starting to get light again. It got really dusky about an hour ago, and now it's starting to come back. So the sun should be rising soon. It's very strange to actually be out here. A little while ago, the birds started chirping, which is always an indication of morning coming. Um, you often wake up at three or four in the morning here and you hear the birds chirping and it's, you know, supposed to be dark but it's not, it's dusky. It's my favorite time of the day. Uh, anyway, let's show you what we've got. I'm excited. There are six. And this big one right here, all by himself, he is a feisty one. So we've each caught three fish now, I think. Ben might be lying, he might have only caught two. What? Don't lie. Remember, <laughs> liar. I think I've caught four. In fact, I'm sure I have because I caught the first two and then, la, 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 then la, la, you la. caught one and I caught one right after you and then I just caught another one. You've only caught two. He's only caught two of these. I caught four. But he caught two the other night and I didn't get any. So if we have six here and two at home, that's eight and we're even. He's caught four and I've caught four. Anyway, they're beautiful fish. And uh, we found our little honey hole right here. You can see where Ben is standing. We're in like shin deep water. And then just in front of where he is, there's this little ledge, it drops off, and I just run my net right over the edge, and as soon as it drops, I stop. And that's where I've caught every single one of my fish, and he's caught both of his right where he's got his net right now. So we're making some progress! Huh. Eight of our 35 we have now. And you can see that beautiful sunrise starting to happen. It's gorgeous out here this morning. All right, I'm gonna head back out there. Luckily, it's kind of, there's kind of a warm breeze out this morning. It's not too bad. All right, guys, it is time for us to head home. Uh, it's about two in the morning, and I think we got seven fish tonight. There's tonight's catch, sitting on the floor of the ATV until we get it back to the cooler. We appreciate you joining us tonight. Uh, we had a little better luck fishing. This area was a lot more angler friendly. Uh, I liked it. Uh, we'll probably come back here again tomorrow night. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and most importantly, when the fishing's good, enjoy the ride. All right, so we are just picking up ice at a local place that sells it. Um, 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. And we pull up and we're, we don't wanna wake anybody up because it's in the neighborhood. It's in the neighborhood and it's attached to a house where the ice is. And we stop and then we're listening and we're listening. Yep, it's two in the morning and somebody is mowing their lawn. Got ice? Yep, we do now. <laughs>